afternoon everyone welcome back to the channel so today JF's on we're heading down to the field we're going to start lifting some grass we've got about 12 and a half acres we're going to try and lift today just to leave tomorrow a bit easier a bit handier of a day and uh, yeah shouldn't be an issue uh, it's been a lovely day so far plenty of sunshine uh, a lovely breeze so there's great drying you might remember we had a little bit of rain on the night that we were finishing off the mowing and uh, it just dampened down yeah just dampened down the grass a little bit but uh, yeah the, the sunshine today has uh, reversed some of the the dampness that arrived uh, so what we're going to do is as soon as we get down here uh, i'm going to set the camera up here now on the rear window uh, you'll see you'll see straight off uh, us starting and uh, how it all goes initially Hopefully we don't clog her in the first three feet. So yeah, let's see how we get on. Progressing on nicely, we are making good headway. 
Uh, we've got about a half a dozen rows here together and then a bit of short ground down the bottom of the field. So uh, getting along nicely. We're having to travel in a very slow gear because it is a really heavy crop. In this, this is the heaviest crop of the, the three fields that we mowed out. So good to see it. The, it's good to see a heavy crop like that. Lovely clean heavy crop. And uh, the plan is hopefully to get this field all finished up tonight and we can move on to the other two fields for tomorrow. Uh, beautiful weather, lovely sunny day, lovely and warm. Grass is coming in nice and dry. Uh, it's always a good sign when you see uh, a, a dusting of grass blowing off uh, away from the harvester and um, uh, blowing back into the tractor. And uh, we're getting that. You can see it here on the back when it's all covered in grass. Uh, I'm joined here with my little nephew, Alex. Say hello, Alex. Hello. <laughs> Alex, uh, do you like the silage? Yeah. Is, uh, what, what do you like about it? The spins? Yeah. Getting to see the tractors walking? Yeah. All that stuff, is that all good? Yeah. Right, well, that's very good. Well, it's good to have you here. So, a bit of company when we're doing the silage is always, a, a, it's always great. Um, that's really it. Uh, have a bit of drone footage, I'm going to put it up uh, and yeah, we'll get some more footage then tomorrow. So hopefully uh, everything keeps going as it is. Couldn't be better.
According to plan, we should be finished this evening around. Ah, uh, I suppose. Look, we should be finished this evening around uh, uh, around five six o'clock if if everything goes according to plan and how it should. So let's see how it goes.
That's the safe we were looking for. It finished, done and dusted. Took about 24 hours longer than what it should have, but we got there in the end and still in in very good conditions. Uh, first few loads this morning, there was a little bit of dampness there, but nothing worth talking about. It, it had dried out extremely well over over yesterday evening and overnight. There was a breeze all night, even this morning, plenty of sunshine and uh, and that breeze was there as well. So it had dried away. We started at 10 o'clock. Uh, it's just after four now. So we, we got through it very well. Uh, we had got an extra tractor drawn, which would have helped to speed it up a little bit. Uh, it just means that there'll be a little bit more pressure uh, back at the pit. Uh, so uh, oh, we'll see how that has went. I haven't been down on it yet at all. But yeah, great to have it done and dusted. Uh, sun has just been in over the last few minutes. We've been a cloud cover, but don't think it's going to rain. But uh, it doesn't really matter at this stage. Uh, JF worked very very well i can hear just when it's running there's a little tipping noise so i'd say one of the the tines may have may have gotten uh, gotten bent there's a little bit of a, a movement on it but that's that's fairly normal uh, you get a lump of grass because then it'll it'll just put a wee bit of a bend and it'll just mean it'll tip as it's coming around on the uh, on the pickup so yeah great to have it done just going to head back to the yard now and We'll uh, we'll see how they're getting on back there. Maybe if there's a bit of grass still to be pushed in, I'll get a bit of footage of it. So you've seen just as I was pulling in there, it, the grass was up, so I have no footage of the telehandler pulling up any grass, unfortunately. But uh, just assessing the pit, I haven't been up to the top of it yet, uh, but uh, it's it's pretty high. It's not the highest I've ever seen it, but it's, it's fairly high. There's a great pit of stuff in it, more than what we had expected there would be. Uh, the, as you mentioned the other day, the growth in the last fortnight before we cut the, this was just phenomenal. Never seen anything like it, the way that it bulked up. Um, and yeah, thank God that it did. Uh, lovely looking grass, uh, lovely green looking grass. And let will just see if we give it a bit of a, if you give it a bit of a squeeze. That's what you want to see. Your hand nice and sticky after it. It means that the sugar's as well up on it. So. Yeah, it should be, make some nice stuff. A uh, bit of tidying up. We're not going to do any of that this evening. We're going to cover tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is the bank holiday Monday. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll have to, well, we'll we'll get up on top of it. We'll tramp it down, roll it first, uh, get it all nice and flat. And then we'll take back about three foot, four foot here at the front and build it uh, just here at the front, on the, on the front of the pit. And it'll expose then there's your channel that runs across here at the front that uh, just catches any effluent. So we want to expose that and get everything back beyond that. Uh, it kind of just leaves it that there's no effluent then can get down the yard and into any of the water courses. All the effluent then stays back the pit side and can get into the tank. So yeah, that's, that's a, a little bit of work that has to be done every time. But yeah, great to have the great to have the grass in. Twenty four hours later than what we had hoped, but better late than never. Uh, okay, so that's it for today, this end of the video. Uh, next part you'll see will be us in the morning. We'll be doing a bit of tidying up. All right, so this is the the following morning. Uh, we we're now just starting to to cover the pit itself. Uh, we've tidied everything out, leveled all the grass on top. Uh, we've rolled it a little bit with the teleporter, but. Uh, yeah, basically just going around the grapes, level it all out, and here we are now starting to cover. So what I'm doing is, you might remember the, the sheets that we draped over the walls at the side. So this is what we do with them then, just put them over the, the pit itself, covering it back up. You see it's covering it back up probably, depending on the area of the pit, but three foot roughly, and it just gives a... It just gives that bit of plastic then, it'll, later on you'll see it'll seal 
it'll seal the sides completely. Uh, the new plastic, you'll see the way it works, it's draped over the top of it. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically all pulled along, all along the side, sat up like this, so that the new sheets, uh, new sheet can slide down on top. So here's a new sheet coming in. Uh, it's just coming in the tally portal. <sighs> just uh, saves having to carry it up the pit. Not that it's not that heavy, and we have done many years before, but uh, the last few years just seem to be thrown in the bucket, and it arrives then at the top of the pit for us just to lift it out. So it's it's just these things a wee bit easier. Uh, save our energy for the tires, I suppose you could say. Uh, so yeah, we pull the the plastic off it, and here's. Uh, Peter and Ben just demonstrating how to roll it out, professionals at this at this stage. Um, so yeah, basically more or less just put it center of the pit. Uh, it's rolled right down to the very front. Uh, this cover actually was slightly short. The next one, it, this was eighty by fifty. Was it fifty five or fifty three wide? Uh, the next cover then was a hundred by. I think it was 60 or 65. So the next up, you would have had far too much cover on uh, on, on, on the on the pit itself. So uh, this one here, we, we made it do. It's wide enough, but it's about 18 inches too short. But we, we can rectify that. We have a bit of sheet that we can put on the front of it. So no issue. So we're just pulling it apart here. Uh, luckily enough, this is a job you always want the weather to play ball with you. One, you don't want it to be windy. That's the main thing. Uh, because if the wind is there and you're trying to stretch out a sheet, it basically turns it into a big kite, and there's a battle then to try and hold it, hold it down. Uh, so, yeah, uh, luckily enough, uh, the weather wasn't too bad. Uh, it 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 had been sunnier earlier in the day, and yeah, it it and uh, it, that sun had just went down. So that that's another thing you don't want is it to be really hot and you walking on a black sheet because the the heat is just radiating off it. Um, so yeah, so we're just pulling it down. Uh, once we get the sheet all squared up on the on the pit itself, it's roughly it's about eighteen inches from the bottom. So we'd put another a uh, little bit of a sheet on the front, and uh, we put two more sheets on top of that again. So there's three sheets on this in total. Uh, you see, here we are putting on the tires. The most hateful job that you'll ever have. Uh, I just see a little bit of footage of that because you need your two hands for pegging them on and. Uh, yeah, it took took about 40 minutes, I suppose, 45 minutes to get the tyres on. Uh, so it's just a wee bit of drone footage just kind of flying over uh, just to, to show you the finished product. Uh, lorry tyres on the front, a few rows of them there at the front, a bit of extra weight, and uh, all the other tyres then. Sandbags right down along the sides, uh, so they're end-to-end, -end, right the whole way right around, so it's completely sealed airtight, and... Uh, usually have very little waste. So that's it. First cut in, done and dusted. Uh, always great to get the pit covered. <sighs> yeah, and glad to be able to bring you along and show you how we got on or uh, some of the footage of us getting our, our silage all done and dusted. Uh, from here on now, slurrying is next. Going to be getting slurry out on the silage ground. Um, and also, <laughs> Weather forecast is looking fairly good for the next week. We've got eight acres of hay, which is ready that we can cut a little bit of early hay, which we hadn't got last year that we planned to have this year in case there was a good week in the first couple of weeks in June. We wanted to have some hay ready that we can cut and weather is looking good. We're going to be checking the forecast again tonight so there could be more mowing going on and then hay and all that will be happening uh, this week. So we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. So uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the sub button, leave a like in the video, comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one.